now the topic we are going to discuss is ctev you all know what is ctev a simple topic indeed it is congenital that is since birth t stands for telepis so tele is for talus and pis is for foot or the ankle area and v the varus and equinus these are two deformities right equinus and varus so since birth there is a problem around talus in the foot or ankle area producing the equinus and varus deformities right that is ctv so why would a child be born with some deformity around the foot right this deformity per se is known as club foot so any disorder leading to the shape of the foot like a club that is your goal stick like the goal stick like this that is a club foot now most common cause one of the most common cause of club foot is ctv okay so why it occurs what actually is this why it occurs ctv simply means since birth there is some problem around the talus which is a bone in the foot of the ankle leading to the deformities okay so most common cause for club foot we know is ctv so we will discuss the ctv right now okay sorry for interruption so we must know why ctv occurs the ctv it can be basically primary or it can be secondary what does this mean primary or secondary primary means there is no underlying cause right there is no underlying cause only the foot is affected only foot is affected rest the child is absolutely fine he is perfectly fine right the most common cause for primary ctv is idiopathic this is again again a mcq what is the most common cause most common cause is idiopathic right now this secondary it is related to certain syndromes syndromic ctv it is related to certain syndromes like example your s or like your arthrogryposis multiplex congenital so there are multiple causes that can lead to ctv primary or secondary now we must understand what are the deformities seen in ctv right why it occurs primary idiopathic no specific cause or secondary in relation to the multiple syndromes now what are the syndrome uh, what are the deformities which are seen in ctv the common deformities seen they are number 1 cavus cavus simply means a high arched foot right second is adduction adduction basically occurs at fore foot right you must understand whatever deformity we talk about these are combination of deformities at different joints one joint is primary and rest of the joints they are supporting joints so main joint involved here is your talo navicular joint okay third is varus now what is this varus varus is basically a combination of deformities right what is that combination basically varus occurs at hind foot this varus occurs at hind foot okay this is basically a combination of adduction plus inversion inversion we already talked about when the under surface of the foot it faces medially number 4 deformity we see is equinus equinus simply means that foot is flexing downwards 
this movement occurs we know at ankle joint and the main joint involved is the tibio talar joint right number 5 the inversion inversion means when under surface of foot faces medially so these are the deformities what you see in case of ctv right so we know why it occurs primary or secondary we know the deformities that would be seen how do we approach a case of ctv right how do we approach a case of ctv some child is born with ctv and then how do we manage this case right that i'll discuss in the second part of this video